morning everyone i am dr satyarashan md of clinical pharmacologist and today i am going to talk on dapagliflozin we all know that dapagliflozin is an hlt2 inhibitor that is mainly used alongside diet and exercise to help treat type 2 diabetes and coming to the mechanism of action it inhibits hlt2 inhibitor that is hlt2 that is sodium glucose co transporter 2 in the proximal tubule blocking reabsorption of filtered glucose leading to osmotic diabetes and it is available as dapagliflozin 5 mg 10 mg tablets and the dose of dapagliflozin dapagliflozin 5 mg one tablet od before to in the morning and dapagliflozin 10 mg one tablet od before to in the morning and coming to the pharmacokinetic parameters of dapagliflozin its t half is 12.9 hour so it is long acting drug and peak plasma concentration reached within 2 hours and the oral viability is 70% and coming to the indication it is used in type of diabetes chronic kidney disease heart failure stroke heart failure flare ups and coming to the contraindications uh, it cannot be given in uh, those patients who are hypersensitivity reactions to dapagliflozin and those patients having severe renal impairment that is egfr egfr less than 30 ml per minute or 1.73 meter square we cannot use dapagliflozin and end stage renal disease that is esrd uh, patients we cannot use dapagliflozin patients on dialysis we cannot use uh, dapagliflozin and coming to the adverse reactions there might be a lot of adverse reactions like urinary tract infections other infections polyuria hypotension hyperkalemia and impaired renal functions and increased in ldl level this type of adverse reaction can occur in some patients not in all patients so uh, then the drugs uh, these drugs to be given as per the guideline and with caution we should be careful when using these tablets for it and uh, regular monitoring will be done uh, in further uh, follow ups so that the patient will remain uh, better uh, by using the dapagliflozin thank you very much